Um, okay, so cheap flights, cheap flights, cheap flights. Um, it might be easier to run an on-screen thing here about how to um, how to kind of use um, some of the stuff that I use for finding cheap flights out. Um, the number one go-to is Google Flights. Um, Google Flights will show you all the dates and it will also show you the dates that when it's cheaper to fly. So for example, we're off to Disney soon and it worked out like two grand cheaper to fly um, the day before I kind of thought and coming back the day uh, before I thought about coming back. So it means although our holiday is now only 12 nights long rather than 14, um, I've saved a shed load of money. Um, other great sites to check out are Jack's Flight Club, um, which is kind of like an email subscription thing. You can pay or you, there's a free version. Um, and they just email out kind of like bargains that are going at the moment. That's really good. So the other thing to look out for, um, and this is a tip top tip I think, is um, to uh, look at airports around where you want to go. So not necessarily just the closest one. Uh, last year when we were on holiday, um, when we were in Tuscany, I think the closest airport to us was something like Verona. Um, and it worked out that it was about 700 pounds cheaper um, to fly into Milan uh, and do an extra hour or so's drive um, than it did going to the nearest airport because the bigger airports will have more budget airlines going into them. So uh, you might get Flybe and EasyJet and Ryanair flying into that, into a, a bigger major airport, which means it's more competitive on price. So, you know, it's kind of a weighing between a slightly longer drive or a slightly longer train journey or whatever uh, to, to bag a cheap flight. So, um, that's my tip top tips uh, i'm gonna quickly show you google flight so you can just see what i mean um but that's generally how we do it okay so i just wanted to do a, a quick run through of google flights and i really hope i'm not teaching people to suck eggs here but this is my absolute go-to for um sort of bagging cheaper flights and figuring out the cheapest way to get places so um it's quite straightforward uh, on the front page uh, this is going to look different by the way if you're looking on a tablet or a phone but essentially the the workings are the same so I want a round trip for us. Um, we are two adults and two children. Um, this is where you can choose your class you want to fly in. It's economy for me. It's just a short, whole little thing. So I'm going to go uh, from London um, because that's the easiest airport for me. Another tip there, if you're taking a car up to the airport, Gatwick for some reason has epically cheaper parking than any other London airport. So just so you know. And um, I know that the nearest airport to where we're staying is Verona. Um, and let me just put in the dates here. Um, we're gonna go on May 27th and coming back on that Sunday. We're done. So it comes up this page first. This is um, the exact matches to what I've put in um, and the prices for that day. So you can see here it's 841 pounds um return and this is all in by the way google flight does it for four passengers and it's not per person um and i'm not paying that you've got to be joking um so um there are these beautiful buttons up here these are the ones i wanted to show you so this button here dates will give you will show you dates um and the different prices around those dates so you could go you know cheaper fly back later if you're flexible on your dates um for example if i show you there so that's 281 that would be me leaving the next day and coming back on the Tuesday. So if you're flexible, um, you can really, really save a load of money. Um, we've done it before where it was loads cheaper to fly the day before. We'd actually booked our accommodation, so we just got a, a cheap Airbnb uh, where we were flying into and then carried on traveling the next day, and it saved us just loads of money there. Um, but the other one I really love, and hopefully that's going to work, yeah, is this one here. So we know I was saying about finding airports nearby. So you can see here... Uh, Yay! Look, so if I fly into Malpensa, which is Milan, um, into MXP, which is a one hour, uh, which is, sorry, it's a two hour drive, because it flicked me up there, so a two hour drive, that's going to save me over £500. So I'm going from £841 going into Verona, the nearest, nearest airport, and it's only £313 uh, going into Malpensa. So that's like an awesome awesome saving. Uh, so I just want to show you that. There are my tips there. Check the dates, check the nearest airports. 
In terms of booking flights, I learned a very big lesson this week about long haul flights though. Um, and uh, because we are just, I'm gonna do, my next vlog actually is gonna be on Disney and going to Disney. And I booked the flights for that holiday via Expedia. And oh no, um, I really recommend if you're gonna do long haul flights to generally book with the airline direct. The reason I'm saying that is I have learned in the last couple of weeks that if you book directly, uh, you can make amendments. So, you know, things like you wanna add stuff on, your baggage, if you're on an upgrade, uh, you can get an upgrade price. Some airlines like Virgin, I don't know if they're still doing it, but they were doing like an upgrade auction thing where you could bid for upgrades on your seats. But if you book your flight via Expedia or somewhere like that, um, they are pretty really locked flights and you can't make any changes. Uh, so, uh, and it's kind of impossible. Upgrading costs five times more than the flight costs and stuff. So you're really kind of locked in and you can't make any change to those flights. Um, so that, that's kind of my tip, top tip on that. Long haul flights, book direct with the airline. Um, if it's, um, not always, but you know, on the whole. Uh, somewhere like Virgin Atlantic um, guarantee the prices are the same on their website as they would be somewhere else. Um, but short haul, uh, Expedia's cool. Uh, I've used Kayak before, that's been cool. Um, because, you know, budget airlines, short haul flights, we're in a sardine tin, right? It's the best we're gonna get.